Hello everyone, welcome to my NASAC YouTube channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you an easy way to create your own online proxy server. We're going to use this GitHub open source project hide IP network to create your own proxy. Basically, you can use it to bypass in some firewalls filtering, IP restriction, country restriction, geographic restriction, and evade censorship on certain network. It's very simple to do, as I introduced other similar Docker project. We're gonna install a Docker on our own VPS. Eventually, you will get similar like this. You can open any website through this proxy server, which using a different IP address to access to it. If you want to know more, you can go to their official dot .hideip network to get more information. That's their official website. So now let's jump to it. There's a demo site you can take a look from this GitHub. The interface will be different from what I build right now using a Docker, but it's similar, only different is the web GUI, how it's presented. You can quickly open the website through this proxy server. Previously, in my channel, I already have quite a few proxy related videos being created. You can use SSH tunneling to secure your web traffic, which is one type of a proxy as well. You can create your own proxy server using Artica proxy. I also had a Cloudflare workers to create your own serverless reverse proxy app. If you want to know more, just go to my channel, search proxy. You'll find those related videos. That will give you some other ideas how to create your own proxy server. So now let's use our own VPS to create one. We are going to use a Google Cloud Platform to do it. Usually when I testing a Docker, I'm using play with Docker session to do that. But the list won't work. The reason why is it needs a HTTPS connection. So even we build it up, you can get it up running, but unfortunately it still won't work properly. So let's give it a try. As you can see, we created our Docker in probably one minute. And Docker is up and running now. It's running on port 56559. If we open it, it will give you time, but it won't show you the all widget or icons as we can see from our website, the testing website here. So those icons won't be showing here and you won't be able to get into anywhere, you won't be able to enter in the website. The reason why is you may want to associate domain with and run it over the HTTPS. That's how you can see the, uh, those icons and enter in the website you wanted to go. Since it doesn't work with Play with Docker, I'm going to use uh, Google Cloud uh, free VM instance. I already created one, but if you're wondering how to create your own instance, that's a quick step. It's free instance as long as you have account with Google Cloud, select E2, and E2 Micro is enough for this testing. Usually I will choose Ubuntu as my image, and you want to change the disk type to standard, you can change it to 30 gig. That's it, then you just need to create. I already created one. So I'm going to use this one as an example to show you how to configure it, how to install Docker, how to bring this hide IP network Docker net up and running, and how to configure the with domain, and then you can use it. Once you have your Google Cloud free instance up and running, you can click SSH to connect to it. So in this way, you can use your browser to connect into your VPS. You don't have to use Empathy and then configure SSH key, username, password. You can ignore that directly. 
get into your VPS through the browser web page. You may want to go into SUDO mode. Usually you will need to update your system repository so you can get all software list. I already did that, so it shouldn't take long for me to finish this command. Uh, once you've done that, you can start to install Docker and uh, you can install Docker Compose. Those two things are what we need. I already did that, so it will be much faster, but the command is the same. There's no difference. The one last thing to do is get the more virtual memory. Sometimes you will have out of memory issue. The reason why is we only get one gig RAM. So you may want to increase it using your hard drive to get one extra gig. So usually I will add one gig in there. So you will get one gig extra. I already configured one gig. So you can see from here, swap size is one gig already. That's why we got failed. If we, we can delete that and then add it in, but it's a similar process uh, before we can start to work on the instance. That's all pretty quick. You will need to run a Docker. It's very simple to bring the Docker up. We just need to create a Docker Compose file. We already have it here, so you can find it from a GitHub website which link you can find from this video description. Control Shift V to paste, copy paste, and then Docker Compose up dash D to lay the run. So because of the version issue, so we are gonna change the Docker file version a little bit here based on the notification. We're gonna change it to 3.3 .3 because right now it's 3.8. So let's change that. Let me do Docker Compose up dash D again. So this time will be different. Previously, I already pulled down the Docker image, all those things. So the process for me to get it up running is really fast. You can always check the Docker running status, so it's running on port 56559, and it's up for 12 seconds now. We're going to go back to our instance. One thing you may want to check is firewall port, because we are using Fireport 56559, so you want to make sure that has been created for you. You may not have it. If you don't have, then you just create one, create firewall rule here. That's it. So once you create it, you can go back to your computer engines, check your VM instance, get the public IP. So now you can try 56559. So again, you will get a similar result as we get from Play with Docker. You will get this background and then clock here, but you won't get those widgets as we got it before. The reason why, as I told you, it has to be, uh, has a domain and HTTPS behind it. So that's what we're going to do. Even you manually put HTTPS protocol there, it won't get you there because it's invalid. They need SSL protocol to run or through it. It's not secure. So in this case, we're going to use our Cloudflare and our NPM, Nginx Proxy Manager, to resolve this issue. So you need to have a domain for your list service. Um, I'm using my 51 sec. Um, I'm creating an A record. You need to have an A record. I'm creating a hide.51sec.eu.org, this domain. And also this IP is your Nginx Proxy Manager IP. If you don't know how to create Nginx Proxy Manager, you can check my video here. It's very simple, similar like what we do five minutes, you can get your Nginx Proxy Manager up and running. So basically now we got the list 
a record created. We're going to use hide.51sec.eu.org to access it. But then before that, we're going to configure it in our npm. So in npm, uh, actually, I already created that record. We can take a look at what the configuration I'm doing. So basically, in uh, we're going to create a domain name, hide.51sec.eu.org in the npm. And then the scheme is HTTP, the forward to the public IP. And then let me put the forward port there. So you may want to enable SSL. I did that. You put the SSL certificate. If you don't have it, you can request a new SSL certificate. Since I already created one. Um, one thing is public, publicly accessible right now. So we're going to save it. And then we're going to see what we can use right now here. If we use hide.51sec.org. You the org. Now we get the full web page now, not like just half, only have the clock there. So you can search and then you can visit the website. So now you can check what is my IP. Then you should be able to get the IP of this proxy server. As we can see from here, this is the IP address. So anything you type in here, they were using this IP address to access to it. The usage for this website is very simple. You just go to the first icon, then type the web address you would like to go. It should be automatically open the website in here. One thing I want to mention is that there's a configuration page. You do see this hnet colon slash slash login command, magic command. You can type in here. That will prompt you the username password, which it is in uh, here. You can see the username password, hnet admin hnet dash password. You can change that as well. Uh, basically, you will get into a uh, backend. You can do a little bit of configuration, such as blacklist, uh, base setting, but there's lots of developing. You can also give it a try from the demo side as well. This is our demo side. Of course, the username and password has been changed. It won't be able to log in. So that's pretty much all for this video. Just give you a quick Demo how to create your own proxy site in the internet using a free service from Google Cloud Platform or Azure or Oracle Cloud Platform. It's completely free, easy, and fast to do. Five minutes, you can get your own proxy up and run in the cloud. So hopefully this video gave you some useful information. Hope you like it. Give me a thumb up if you like it, and please subscribe. Never give me a uh, lot of support. Uh, thank you for watching. See you in my next video.